May the Lord bless and keep you. Let's go to Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. So this is telling you things to think about. So everything else that you are thinking of, especially the negative things, stop thinking about those bad things. So let's look up the word true. So we should be thinking on things that are true. Okay. In accordance with fact or reality. So don't think about things that are not true. Things that are lies. Okay. Next is honest. Free of deceit and on truthfulness, sincere. Or free of deceit and on truthfulness, sincere. So think of things that are honest. No lies. There is a reason why we have to think in this way. Let's continue. We have to think of things that are just. What does just mean? Based on or behaving according to what is morally right and fair. So we have to think of things that are morally right and fair. So thinking of perverse things on bad things, things that are not fair, we should not be thinking of those things. We should be thinking of things that are just, based on or behaving, behaving according to what is morally right and fair. When you begin to do this, this is going to change your life. This is going to change your outlook in life. This is going to make you feel better. What is going to happen if you are always focusing or thinking about things that are unjust, that are not true? things that are wicked all the time. It is going to affect you or affect you or effect. Yes, it is going to affect you. Let's continue. I believe the next one is pure. Free from moral guilt or fault or guilt. So we have to think of things that are pure, free from moral fault or guilt. Okay, let's continue. Lovely. Delightful, highly pleasing. Number four, of a great moral or spiritual beauty. I pray that all of this is making sense here. Everything is pretty much tying in with each other. 
Let's continue. Good report. A person's high standing, among others, dignity, good name, honor, prestige, reputation, repute, respect, status. So we should think on things of a good report. So things that is, that are criticizing people, giving people's people bad names and stuff like that, stay away from that negativity. This is why I tell others, don't slander people, don't do that. That is wicked. Virtue. Let's look it up. Behavior showing high moral standards. So, when you watch twerk videos and all of these bad stuff that you see on TV, it is going to affect you. So don't watch it. Because those things have no virtue. And if you continue to partake of it, you are not going to have virtue as well. Behavior showing high morals standards. Let's continue. Praise. Okay. Express warm approval or admiration of. Okay. Here we go here. Finally, brethren. So brothers and sisters, whatsoever things are true. Here we go here. Whatsoever things are honest free of deceit and untruthfulness, sincere. Whatsoever things are just, based on or behaving according to what is morally right and fair. Whatsoever things are pure. I believe I said that, maybe not free from moral fault or guilt. Whatsoever things are lovely, delightful, highly pleasing, of a great moral or spiritual beauty. Okay. Whatsoever things are of good report. A person's high standing, among others, dignity, good name, honor, prestige, reputation, repute, respect, status. If there be any virtue, behavior showing high morals, moral standards, and if there be any praise, express warm approval or admiration of, think on these things. So overall, what this is saying, hey, think on positive things. Think of things that are of God. Think of things that are going to build a person up not anything that is going to break a person down don't think of any negative thing about a person because what good is that going to do for you thinking about demonic things all day long we have to keep our mind Listen, I believe I told you all that 
Our words have power. Contemplating on negative thoughts has power as well. So if you are always thinking about negative things and always speaking negatively as well, what is going to happen to you? You are going to be that way. So what this is saying, hey, change the way that you are thinking and contemplate on these things. Obviously, it is going to have a very good effect upon you. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you. If this video have helped you in any way, make sure you share it and subscribe. God bless you.